It blends roguelike deck building with turn based combat for a deep tactical experience. Navigate a world full of dangers and mystics as you craft your deck, obtain relics, and prepare your party of champions for any challenges ahead. Ciao a tutti, Marcello, and welcome to a new First Look video. Today we take a look at Sigil of the Meiji by Young Just Young. This is a turn based. RPG actually in development with roguelike deck building mechanics. Uh, the game is expected for the quarter 3 2022 and this that I'm going to show you is the demo version available on Steam. I'll have a link for you inside the description. Anyway, it's time to go. <laughs> Let's play. Party selection. The royal, we got the knight, we got the archer, and the wizard. They have a passive wizard Zara, one power to any adjacent ally. If the wizard is adjacent to two allies, one power to self. If the archer has not moved during a turn, increase tactical damage by 50%. At the at the end of player's turn, the knight gains two armor for each adjacent occupied tile. Okay, uh, click the icon above to check your current deck. This is our current deck. Not available in the demo. There's other party. Let's go with the Royal Vanguard then. Proceed. Okay, classic grid. Tutorial this is the overwhelm. Your goal is to get to the end and progress to the next stage. You can travel to any point connected to your current position, but you can only move forward. Let's go here, we got a battle, but then we got a chest. Tutorial, you get to position your champions at the start of each battle, however, they can only be placed within the green zone. Okay, let's put it one here, the archer, here, and the mage. Let's start. At the start of every turn, you will draw 5 cards from your draw pile. This is your current hand. This is your draw pile, you can click on it to check the remaining card in the pile. Cards will not be displayed in sequence. If at the start of a turn there are not enough cards left in a draw pile to draw from, all cards currently in the discard pile will be shuffled back into the draw pile. Okay. Uh, champions have a movement range of 3 tiles per turn, you can move a champion any number of times until their movement has been completely spent. Uh, champions can only use their own associated cards. You can play any number of cards per turn so long as there is sufficient mana. Every champion has their own unique passive ability. There are visual indications for when a passive ability is in play. For instance, a glowing light underneath the archer indicates that her ability is currently active. Passive abilities can be very powerful when properly utilized. Check the champion's portrait for more details. Set so the you can have passive abilities too, their name will be displayed under their portrait to be sure to check. Um, the Archer. Okay, let's move. Let's move over here and try a slash. Once a card display, we'll go into the discard pile. Okay. Do we have. Relent Lessage Power. The, the green tile indicates these enemy movement range. Enemy are consistent and predictable. The skills that show will turn. Okay. This is the card rack. Here you can see your skills. Enemies follow a strict turn order. Attack enemy order. Okay. I can see over here. One, two, three. Okay. Um. Wizard stuff. Then we got the archer. I can go over here. Nice. Wizard. Once your mana is depleted, you will be unable to play any more cards. Press and turn. Okay. But I got this dexterity. I wanna. Oh, it's for the archer. And turn. and less it's very nice 
You can also solve cards in your car as stored car will not go into the discard pile at the end of a turn however cards not be played on the same turn they are stored. If the card rack is full the right most card will be discarded okay. Um, ah, okay you can see here the there are some bonus on different tiles. Obstacle, this is an obstacle. Grant 4 armor to any unit occupied the style at the end of day turn. Let's see if we can go. Magic armor, defend, wizard. Let's shoot over here. The wizard stuff. Let's take this one down. At the, uh, at the end of player turn, the knight gain two armor for each Edison occupied tile. Gain five. The wizard stuff. good you got some rewards you get rewards after winning a battle okay 24 golds um and hard a card uh should you not like any of the cards and on offer you can always choose to skip the reward okay but i want the reward deal nine damage if target is killed you go two hp let's proceed uh let me take a look at over here we got the deck. Each card can be upgraded. And this is nice to know. We got the gold over here. Okay, we got a chest. Gold and black period at the end of a turn. Any champion without armor will gain four. A relic, nice. Let's keep pushing. Wait up, a traveling merchant comes running up to the champions. He takes a moment to collect his breath before launching into his sale pitch. I have a great deal just for you, for a small fee. I'll show you three random cards and you get to have whichever one you please. Accept the offer and pay 10. I, we can pay 10. Deal 7 damage, inflict crippled. This one is nice for our warrior. Got something you like, I hope. It's again. We can buy another one. I'll reject the offer. I want to see all the, the kind of nodes we can find. We got an individual heal, a group rest, and train. Upgrade a card in your deck. Maybe I want to upgrade a card. And I want to go with the wizard. Let's take it to 10. Nice. We can do much more. This is the shop. Um, what is this? When you play seven or more cards in a single turn, all champions gain one power. Well, this is, is good. Let's take this Jade Brasolet. No, maybe I want to take him over here and here.
We want to wait for now. Let's end the turn. They have a passive. If the twins are not adjacent, bigger, ah, because they mothering brother, brother, bickering twins. If the twins are not adjacent to each other, the end of turn gains eight armor. Let's see. They have a, a lot of, a lot of HP. We must be careful. One is going to attack my archer over here and I want to go. Find dagger. Not a problem. We need to destroy this armor. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for give me this let's do the cripple cripple does cripple the movement is restricted to one tile okay let's try to focus on one of them damage um, you'll nine We must be careful now. Okay, one down. Who will be attacked? Going to attack my, my warrior over here. Almost there. The life draining. think we are here mm. 
great. We got golds, we got a, a card, deal 12 damage, inflict vulnerable and weak. Wow. Vulnerable and weak. Nice. And then a volcanic glass. Cards that cost zero mana have a plus on power. Wow. Okay, guys. This first look and see. Let me know what you think about the game in the comments below. Um, there's a link for you inside the description to the Steam page of the game. Now, see you in the next video. Wish you the best. Ciao.